Okay, we've gone over what happens on the bench as far as the hurry up line changes. Brad, when you get onto the ice at the face-off circle, can you go over some of the other differences maybe once you're here ready to take the draw? You know, one thing that we talked about is uh, I think growing up, you know, minor hockey even, you were told the center is kind of going to kind of come police the draw. You're going to tell guys where to go and you're really in charge. Now it's really the center's primary responsibility just to be ready for the face-off. You might put a bit of the onus on the winger or the defenseman to tell guys where to go because if I'm not ready, if I'm kind of going like this, you could get a penalty or they can kick you out of the draw. So that's the first thing. The center's primary responsibility is to get ready for the draw. This year as well, I think linesmen are really, they're really taking these, uh, these hash marks here. As you see on the ice, you have to have both your feet inside here. Whereas before in the past, plus your stick, there's a white mark in here and your stick must be on there. And they're really strict on that. I think before you would see, you could, you would see guys really testing the limits of it, you know, their bodies out here. But I mean, I have, I've literally been, you know, my, the bottom part of my skate over this line and boom, you're out of the draw. So that, that, those are some of the major differences. You're really going to have to pay attention to detail on, on the regulations here on the draw. With wingers coming in for face-offs more so than in the past, is there any more practice time, pre-instruction before you actually get to the face-off with those wingers? Yeah, there is much more attention to detail on the draw from the wingers part. I mean, before each period, before each game, uh, the coaches come in and tell us what's expected of us in terms of who's chasing, maybe who's staying back, what face-off plays on the offense we're running, and defensively what we're doing. And I mean, as a center, I, like, bef like before in the past, I'd like to be the one to maybe remind the wingers, but I don't have time to do that. I'm taking the draw. I'm relying on my wingers to know the instructions and what they're, they're going to set out to do beforehand. Okay, we've talked about more of the general mental concepts of getting ready for that hurry up line change and dropping of the puck. Can you go over more, maybe just the fundamental, what you think about going in to take a face off? Well, again, falling within the rules, my, there's, there's basically two different ways of, of approaching a draw. I think the first way is quickness. And uh, you know, a prime example of on our team, Eric Belange, he relies a lot on quickness. Right. Obviously, the linesman is there, is here with the puck. I am not paying quite as much attention as to what the other center is doing once I'm ready. I'm really just focused on the hand. So I'm, I'm again, I'm within. My skates are within this region. My stick's on the white, and I'm just trying to anticipate that moment when the linesman's hand is, and that's the quickness way. Now, the second way, and say I'm having a game where you know, a guy's beating me a little bit on quickness. It's more of a power and, and uh, a more of a power block out and use your feet. So obviously, the quickness part is I'm, I'm, I'm going to really just try to nip the puck, you know, when the lines are drops. The second, if, second part is if I'm having trouble, I'm going to really just try to neutralize the other center and just try to battle it out either myself with my skates or hopefully I can get it so where the puck is kind of just laying in this area here. And I'm, I'm satisfied with the draw if I can move the puck on my defensive side because our wingers and defensemen are instructed to support the center. You know, you're going to have a winger. If the puck's lying in here, we're going to win that draw because, you know, someone's going to be coming in right. here to help, help us out with that. So those are two general ways to do it. Well, Brad, thanks very much for talking about face-offs. They're a very important part of the game and certainly a lot more to think about this year. Appreciate it. Thanks.